to ebook. Spider-Man versus the Sinister Six. Read the story. Old story. Spider-Man was the leader of a group of young superheroes. And he was training with his team at the Statue of Liberty. You guys have got to work together, shouted Spider-Man. But his teammates were not listening. Power Man, Nova, Iron Fist, and White Tiger all crashed into each other. said Spider-Man when he got a call from his friend Kurt Connors. Doc Connors had found something very important at Dr. Octopus's underwater lab. He wanted Spider-Man to meet him right away. Anyone want to come along? asked Spider-Man. But his teammates had other things to do. Spider-Man was disappointed. Being a leader sure is tough, he thought. When Spider-Man got to the lab, he saw Kurt Connors was in trouble. Spider-Man ran to help and was attacked by Dr. Octopus. It was a trap. Dr. Octopus wasn't alone. Spider-Man looked around and saw Kraven, the Rhino, the Beetle, and Electro. He was surrounded. Five against one? said Spider-Man. You guys might actually have a chance against me. No, not five. Six, said Dr. Octopus, who used a remote control to turn Kurt Connors into the Lizard. Dr. Octopus created his own team of supervillains, the Sinister Six. Where's your team? Asked Dr. Octopus. You must not be much of a leader if you can't even get them to show up. Spider-Man knew he couldn't beat the Sinister Six without his team's help. He had to get out of the lab. Spider-Man ran off into the sewers with the Sinister Six close behind. After a short chase, the Lizard caught Spider-Man and knocked him out. It's time for our revenge, said Dr. Octopus. We will unmask Spider-Man and his biggest secret will be revealed. But the Sinister Six started fighting over who would take off the mask. That gave Spider-Man time to recover. He climbed on a pipe and waited for Rhino to come after him. At the last minute, Spider-Man jumped away and Rhino hit the pipe instead. Water flooded into the sewers as Spider-Man escaped. Spider-Man had to get a message to his team. So he jumped on a news helicopter and spoke into the camera. Hey, team, said Spider-Man. If you're watching, I need you to meet me at the Statue of Liberty, like now. The helicopter dropped Spider-Man off at the Statue of Liberty. He waited anxiously to see if his team would come. They did. And the Sinister Six came, too. Now, it was team versus team. I guess.
guess you are a leader after all. Dr. Octopus said to Spider-Man as the battle began. Too bad you led your team to their doom. Want to find out who is the better leader? Said Spider-Man as he started giving orders to his team. But nobody listened. They were working by themselves instead of together. Then Spider-Man saw which villain each hero was fighting, and he had an idea. Kraven was fast like White Tiger. Rhino was strong like Power Man. Beetle flew high like Nova. And Electro had energy like Iron Fist. The heroes were fighting villains with the same powers as their own. You guys! Listen to me! Spider-Man said to his team. Switch opponents! The team did, and the heroes started winning. surprised Electro. Nova attacked Rhino from a distance. Iron Fist had too much power for the Beetle, and Power Man was too strong for Kraven. In the meantime, Spider-Man fought his own battle with the Lizard. Their fight went back and forth until Spider-Man destroyed Dr. Octopus's remote, setting the Lizard free. was all alone now. Not so sinister anymore, are you? Said Spider-Man. And he ripped off Dr. Octopus's mechanical tentacles. Our heroes defeated the Sinister Six. You see what we can do when we work together? Spider-Man asked his friends. He had proven himself as a leader he was proud to be part of such a super team. The end. Watch the story again? No.